All right. So what's your story? My story. Well, uh, my name is Vic Smith. I am from Saginaw, Michigan, by way of Las Vegas. I moved to Vegas when I was around seven years old, but I always came back to um, Michigan for the summers. And during the summer is when I got into being an MC because I saw, you know, my cousins and, and a couple of my um, just, you know, older peers writing on notepads. And I was thinking to myself, like, yo, you can you can do this. So I grabbed a piece of paper and I grabbed the pen. And from that point on, I haven't stopped the writing. It's just been in me ever since then. But just speaking to my mom recently and even my grandmother, music apparently has always been a part of like my history because when I was three, my grandmother bought me a boom box and I was always walking around the house listening to it, jamming to whatever song came on. And um, my mother just recently informed me that one of my first CDs that I bought was uh, Sam Cooke's The Change Is Gonna Come and I played that joint out. And then my, at a garage sale, I bought the movie Purple Rain by Prince. And she told me that I would watch that movie like three times a day, drag in my little uh, toy table and I would play on that toy table as if it were the keys. So music has always been a part of me longer than I can remember. And like I said, ever since I picked up that pen and that pad, man, it, it's been tunnel vision ever since then. I've just always wanted to say something with my music or make people move or create a message just anything in general to make people feel good or, or to help people progress. And it, I just, I'm totally in love with music. There's just no other way to explain it. Well, that's a, that's a very early start for you. Yeah, man, yeah. So, so when did you start professionally? You said what? So when did you start professionally? Technically, it would be maybe, I don't know, about five, four or five years ago when I dropped my first EP, Brennan, on um, Apple Music through Full Circle Core Music Group. That was the uh, first, uh, I'll say, legal group that I was with. And um, you think that was 2017 when I dropped that album. And ever since then, I can honestly say it's been nothing but forward progression because um, I just, excuse me, I just recently moved back to Michigan, but while I was out there in Vegas, we ended up uh, getting a band together. I ended up rocking, uh, let me see, House of Blues a couple of times. Let me see, a Bunk House, a Hard Rock Vinyl, just so many different places on the strip. And I think, what, two, three years ago, I actually opened up for Big Boy and Sleepy Brown in California at, I believe, uh, the Observatory. That's what it was called. So technically, you could say that I've been in the game professionally for about four or five years now. Okay. And I see a, a keyboard in the back right there. Do you play any other instruments? No, I, I don't. My keyboard is just because it just makes it that much easier to, you know, make beats. I know I know a little bit. I can play a few chords here and there. I've been teaching myself, but I'm I'm no pro or anything. I don't I don't get down like the church boys or anything like that. I wish <laughs> so. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah.